we've got the essentials and then we've got the tones. In the essentials kits you get the ice grey 2, the ice grey 6, the muted browns or MB1, the soft browns MB2, a true black and a blender. So nice neutral colours there. Let's see if we can get you to... There, there we go. And in the tones pack we have smoky blue or VB1, vintage blue VB2, Wisteria DP1, Old Lavender DP2, Pink Lace AP1 and Vintage Pink AP3. And those will certainly complement the greys. Uh, so the ends, so that's your bullet tip. Sorry about my camera today. There we go. And that's your chisel tip. A nice, quite wide chisel there for a chisel shape. So, what do the colours look like? Here's one I prepared earlier. So, your colours are in their little groups of two. So, you've got something that you can do your um, tonal blends with. So, that's your I2 and I6. There's your true black, your blender. Spot it if you can. Your MB1, your MB2. The AP1, AP2, those two go together. The VB1, VB2, and the DP1, and the DP2. And that is on um, WH Smith's cheap paper. So it's not a absorbent absorbent paper, and it's not a kind of glossy um, high weight paper. So, but all things considering, I'd say the bleed through isn't too bad. And these were written with the chisel nib, if anyone was interested. So that is your colours. So what can we get up to with them? Time to find that out. Right, so let's go for the colours we haven't seen yet. The MB1. Outside the line, ladies and gentlemen. I think we can fix that. I'm gonna bring in the blender, just hold it on there. Like magic, it's gone. With the chisel nib, because I want to cover this whole area here. It hardly takes any time at all. It's got a really nice angle on it, so really nice control for that one. I'm going to use the MB2. Now the AP1. So you can use your chisel nib flatwards, that way, and also you can hold it so that the point is downwards. A couple of mistakes there. So come back in with the blender and just push them away. And then with the chisel nib again. Following the shape round, chisel nibs are great for following curves because the pen flows beautifully with that. Got the AP3. Now 
Next I'm going to come through with the VB1 so the VB1 and VB2 I think are turning out to be my favourites. <laughs> This VB one make a lovely, lovely holly on Christmas cards. Then VB two. So for the next bit, I'm going to use the IG2 <laughs> IG2 and the IG6 to create cloud uh, cloud effects in the background. Um, I'm going to use the chisel tips. This is the IG2. Keep on making little sharp shapes, little C shapes to get texture build up. Resaturating the paper. Then with the blender, we're going to do the same. Especially around the edge because I want that to soften up a lot. just bleaching out. I'm just going to do a tiny bit under here. Once again I'm using all sides of the pen. And that creates a kind of stormy sky. So we'll come down to this part of the tail and we're just going to do a little bit here. gives us a nine-tailed fox in the cloudy sky. So I've left a lot of areas white here and I'm going to start picking out a few with the true black. Just to add a little bit of colour elsewhere in the drawing. So like I say, the true black is pretty much um, as dark as a sharpie so it really is a nice crisp clean bark. So with the bullet tip on the fine black, I'm add some fine detail in here. Nice light hand picks it up really well. Yeah, just now using the darkest tones just to push out some of the colours and make them pop a bit more. So I'm just going to add in some final little bits of detail just with a fine line pen just to bring the image really forward give it that extra edge. But I'll zoom in so that you can see how the colour has layered down. So there we go. So adding in some final detail and this is the result. One Zentangle Star Fox using the new graphic illustrator type pens from Spectrum Noir. Hope this has been a big help and hope you've enjoyed and it's inspired you to pick up some pens and have a go. 
The colours for this group, absolutely lovely. Go with pretty much everything and they complement each other beautifully.